we're gonna go from Scotland to Ireland without using any fuel. I'm gonna make a telltale. Turned us five degrees to port. You want to go down? Why don't you go down? I'll take it from here. Well, I can't sleep. So you'll have no problem sleeping. So go to sleep. Go, go. Yeah. It's not that bad. So there's some cheesy poops. Ooh. In here there's some cereal and a couple of those fruit bars. Okay. Can you toss me the cheesy poops? Oh, I hope you sleep well. Wake up in a few hours. Or more. Sleep well, Mo. Oh, It's Thursday the 3rd at 10.30 in the morning and Mo uh, just took the watch. I had it until now and it's just been a fantastic sail. Our wind speed instrument only shows direction, doesn't show speed, so I can only guess at the speed, but it's got to be 20 knots and uh, it's been steady in both speed and direction and we have been going six knots, baby. <laughs> uh, six to seven, we've been flying, um, which is a little problematic because we're going to have this wind all the way to Killybegs and... It's not gonna change in uh, direction. It may increase in strength a little bit. So we're gonna arrive there way too soon before uh, sunrise. So when we get there, we're gonna have to reduce speed or even heave to. Um, so all is well. It is a little bumpy, but I'll definitely take it because we are not using any fuel. It's amazing, huh? 200. 15 nautical miles, transport your home, don't use any fuel. All right, good night. It is 
is 10.30 in the morning and I've been on watch for a while. Drake is gonna try to get some sleep. It's been a really rolly sail so far and we are flying. Um, we were just surfing down a wave at like 10 knots. We're averaging somewhere around seven knots. Yeah, we're going fast. So we are over halfway there and it's it's only 10.30 in the morning. Um, we left yesterday at five in the evening. So yeah, we're gonna get there too soon. Probably gonna have to hope to at some point, just so that we're not entering killie bags in the dark. But yeah, 8.2, man, got the blanket up on the side here because the sun is really bright and it's warm and I haven't put any sunscreen on and I don't want to go down below right now because it is very rolly and I was just down below to grab some stuff so yeah nothing on the radar nothing that I can see scanning and I'm just gonna listen to an audiobook and let Drake get some rest. My yeah, keeps getting stuck, but I'm not going out there. It is just after two. It's been about four hours since I've been on. Drake isn't, I guess he isn't getting a lot of sleep. I hope that can change. He needs his he needs his rest. <laughs> it is rolling out here. We've got these big rollers coming in. Occasionally waves on the starboard side are hitting and kind of coming over. This is what I'm really happy that we have this enclosure. It makes it so nice. But I haven't seen anything. We brought some of the jib in because the wind increased and we were just going to fast. It was getting overpowered a little bit. And it feels better. The winds were increasing again, but I think they have kind of settled into what they've been now. I don't think we need to bring in more of the jib. This is where we are, and this is where we're going. We are, and we're just flying. It's just after two o'clock in the afternoon. We don't have that much more <laughs> to sail, which means we might end up having to hope to at some point. So I'll stay on watch as long as I can so that Drake can hopefully get some rest and yeah I guess we'll we'll see how it goes we're gonna have to have to the winds are supposed to calm down tomorrow's supposed to be quite calm so maybe we'll have two just off the coast and then go into Killy Banks in the morning all right I'm gonna lay down because it is super rolly and bleh but that's the report for now yeah 6.7 overground ish. We are a flying sailboat. So this is where we are. Started all the way up here, coming down and we're going into there. So we are close. There's nothing in the way where we're going. We have several more hours to get to the waypoint. 
Oh, there's that. We have several more hours until we get to the waypoint, and then, ugh. and then we'll turn in. And I think it has us getting there at like four or five in the morning. So it'll be nice to get there. It has been a very very rolly sale. What are you doing? I'm gonna make myself a hand egg and cheese and then relieve you. It's a spiffy mask you're wearing. <laughs> oh, how so was... I woke Drake up and, well, you weren't really sleeping, were you? No, I was trying to. And he's gonna take over, so nine hours. A little over nine hours, Woo actually. Nine and a half hours on watch. You all ready? Yeah. How's uh, how's everything out here? You see any ships? You see any? Saw a lot of water coming in. Yeah. Did, did the did the enclosure get hit? By yeah, wave? multiple times. On I think it's pulled up a little bit. On the starboard side, right? Always on, on the, the starboard. Always. All right. Going down below. All right. Six o'clock in the morning, and uh, we are just arriving. Timed it just perfectly. Ah, arriving at daybreak at uh, Kelly Bakes Harbor. It's been a wonderful sail, 20 to 25 knots, uh, putting us on a broad reach for the whole time. Didn't run the engine at all, which is fantastic. Uh, yeah, we ran the engine for about 20 minutes after we raised anchor and then turned it off and we haven't turned it on uh, this whole way. Now, we are greeted with this. Coming into Tilly Beggs Harbor. We should be at the harbor entrance in about an hour um, and uh, I've been on watch for I don't know how many hours but I'm exhausted so I just woke up Mo and she's gonna she's gonna take us in and I'm gonna go to sleep and wake up in about an hour and then we'll get the hook down call customs they might want us to dock on the pier or in the marina and then uh, have customs guys meet us or have us go to an office or or they might just say on the phone you're all set so I'm not sure we'll find out and then we'll probably stay at anchor need to check the weather because I've been hearing uh, severe weather warnings on the VHF uh, and uh, so we need to check the weather and see what's coming in and uh, maybe move to the marina I'm not sure how long we'll be in Killy Bags. Um, gonna go take a nap now. Thank you for uh, taking us in. We've got the jib out, and that's it. We're on a uh, kind of beam reach, port tack, making five knots. Beautiful sunrise. There are a couple of ships that I can see, but I think they might be an anchor. Gotta get some last rolls in before we get there. Got a little bit of sleep, and I'm excited to get there. I'm tired. Drake's really tired. I guess he hasn't really been able to sleep very much. It took a nine and a half hour watch to give him a chance to lay down and really get some sleep and he just wasn't able to. So he's toast. But hopefully he can get a little bit of sleep before we get in. But yeah, we'll see what Killy Banks looks like. Hello Ireland.
I would just sleep. Uh, how long was I down for? 45 minutes. Was it that long? Wow. Yeah, I feel a little better. Wow, it's beautiful, huh? It's gorgeous. It's supposed to rain a lot this afternoon. Really? Yeah, we're getting in just in time. Oh. I don't see any big weather things. Good. Good. What do we got here? Closest point of approach will be just over half a mile. Right there. And ooh, they're speeding up 11.1 knots. Is it going to cross our bow or? No, he's going to go port to port. port, port. Yuck. Fiona, what are you doing? Yeah, I would not want to be going out. We're coming in. There are little, little tiny rollers in places and it's definitely swelly pushing us in. Uh, that boat going out is just like just up against the waves. And if you're eating fish, crab, other seafood, just know fishermen work really hard. It is a tough job. It is not a job I would want to do. They are out in all sorts of weather. So man, just kudos to them. It is, it's a rough job. Passing that right now. And here is Kelly Bags right in there. So we're, we're almost there. The only upwind at all on this whole voyage is about to happen right now. Yeah. Just as we motor into the harbor and drop the anchor. That's amazing. That's amazing. Do you think we should drop the anchor or do you think that we should pull into like a dock or something to check in? I think it's okay if we drop anchor and then immediately call customs with our Q flag up. And if they say, oh, you need to go to the dock, then we'll just raise it and go to the dock. We haven't left the boat, so I don't think it'll be a problem. Okay. Thanks so much for cooking all that food and having it in the fridge. It was so, so nice to be able to just go to the fridge and take the thing out and eat straight yeah. from it. Couldn't imagine cooking on this voyage. I used to cook all the time offshore. It used to be my- You did was my thing. Yeah. I, I put a lot of energy into The bloom it. has left the rose. <laughs> I don't know what it is. No. It used to cook for no, me. You, you started doing all this cooking before we went offshore. It's your fault. You <laughs> got me used to having food prepared ahead of the uh, voyage. I uh, always used to cook on offshore. All right, buddy, you need to start the engine. You ruined me. Oh, I've ruined you. <laughs> you want another cup of coffee? Or uh, I want to turn because we're heading for land. Start the engine, start the engine. Contact. What? Contact. Contact. All right, we'll let that warm up a little bit. And pull in the jib. flag. Yeah, I think going out to a restaurant and having like hot date night might be a traditional thing out after a long, long offshore passage. I'm getting kind of excited to be here. It's a real commercial fishing kind of town. I think that's got appeal, you know, a working town, as opposed to a, a, a foo foo, uh, a foo foo, foo foo bougie tourist town, kind of town when, where you say, yeah, I sail here and mean something. <laughs> 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 
This is beautiful. So you're gonna call the harbor master. You're gonna say that we're an American sailing vessel arriving in Ireland from Scotland. Our plan is to drop anchor and then call customs. And we're asking if it's okay for us to enter the harbor and if there are any special instructions. Killybanks Harbor Master, Killybanks Harbor Master, Killybanks Harbor Master. This is sailing vessel Paragon, 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 channel 14. Over. No hello for you. Okay, we'll just go and drop anchor then. It's a beautiful morning and we are just coming in to Killybegs Harbor. We tried calling the Harbor Master on the phone and also on channels 14 and 16 and we didn't get any reply. So we're just going to go in and drop anchor and then use our cell phones to call customs. Um, there is a customs office in Sligo uh, which is pretty close to Killybegs. Um, I'm not sure 100% if Killybegs is an official port of entry. Uh, Sligo is definitely an official port of entry uh, because they have the customs office there. So hopefully they're not going to say, oh no, you got to go to Sligo. It's not, it's not too far away. We could make it today since we're arriving here so early in the morning. But hopefully they're going to say, okay, here, give us your details and you are welcome to be here for three months. Hopefully they don't say, well, okay, you need to go to the dock in the marina or on the pier or something like that so that you can meet uh, customs agents. I hope that's not going to be the case. Yeah, we're, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Look at, look at all this. Just gorgeous. This is where we're going. This is an old photograph. Apparently there is a little marina right there. We're going to anchor over here. All right, I'm gonna drop it here. Seventy-five feet is five. All right, that's like three red markers. Beautiful place and nice and calm. Wow, look at that jelly. So wild looking. It looks like a Star Trek space station. See that thing? are located in Killybank. Yes, we were sailing. We're on uh, a sailboat. There are two aboard. We left, uh, sorry, we left Scotland uh, two days ago and we've just arrived here in Killybanks in Ireland. So we don't, we don't need to check in with anyone? No, no. So we don't need to check in at all? That doesn't mm -hmm. seem right. You call customs. And they said, ah, call the harbor master. You called the harbor master and she was like, no, nothing. You're fine. Move along. We're fine. I'm glad we have it on. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I guess. Breakfast, breakfast. Is it because it's an open border? Like. I don't know. But if you make breakfast, I'll launch the dinghy. All right, I'll start cooking. We're saving a lot of money. We didn't spend any money on fuel. Now we're at anchor. We're now you can spend all on me. Yes, I can. Date night. Date night tomorrow, maybe. I wonder if I should take a shower now. Or if oh. we should just go in the salty sailors that we are. Oh, Jesus, you are tired. Yeah. 